With sheets of ice on local lakes and bays, some six inches thick, anglers can't help but take the bait and drop a line. Tonight, though, Garrett Dombluski learns there should be a level of caution still, especially as things warm up. It's quiet on the ice covering Shimo Bay. He just set the tip up. About a dozen shanties are set up, more lines in the water. The solitude and hanging out with your buddies is good and catching fish, obviously. These guys are good eating. 6.17 pounds. For Abe Brannon of Akron, Ohio, these conditions are good for ice fishing. There's about six and a half, seven inches of ice where we're standing, so it's very solid. But solid ice is not solid ground, and safety needs to be top of mind. Whether you're out there ice fishing, uh, snowmobiling, or uh, you know taking a walk uh, with the families, you've got to be very, very careful. While the ice is safe right now, and most ice fishermen know when to call it a day, the conditions on ice are always changing. There is no such thing as safe ice. The only safe ice is the ice in the skating rink. But for anglers like Abe, the clothes they wear are protective, and not just from the cold. It's an ice bib, so there's flotation in the, the legs and in the jacket itself. So just in case you were to fall in, you know, unlikely, uh, you don't go under. You stay afloat. So you can save your life. Small precautions. It's very much worth the money. One way to avoid going under is knowing how to read the ice. White ice, which means it's covered in snow, is more insulated and typically melts slower. Black ice, meaning it's uncovered, is exposed to the sun and other elements, which can make it less safe to walk on. With safety in mind, it's really about enjoying the moment and reeling in the big one. Trying to catch walleye of a lifetime. Garrett Dombluski, 7 News.